Speaking of Wisconsin, the St. Croix Scenic River, uh, Scenic Riverway provides plenty of picturesque views and outdoor adventure along the border of Minnesota and Wisconsin. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. First at four, WCCO's Derek James went to Osceola to show the new effort to connect more visitors to everything that area has to offer. It's beautiful. I'm glad we stopped. Over a million visitors a year stop somewhere along the 255 miles of the St. Croix National Scenic Riverway, many of them by accident. We just didn't know about this. We just zipped on best, you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, we were always anxious to yeah, get to you were, We were always anxious to get to the Mill X Casino. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, more people knew about this area and what you could do down here, I think it would bring a lot of people. I know I enjoy kayaking. Our goal as a national park is to really meet the people where they are. We know that not everyone comes to a visitor center. It's not always convenient and maybe it's not what they want to do. The Wild Rivers Conservancy is partnering with the Park Service to create a mobile visitor center. They were just awarded a grant from the National Park Foundation to kickstart the project. The hope is that with a ranger or a volunteer or a conservancy staff member on the truck, we can share maybe a landing that's close by that's not as busy. Or we can encourage them to maybe visit a campsite maybe a little bit further north to give them just a very different experience a little bit further from the Twin Cities. Tom Swanner has lived on a farm 12 miles north of St. Croix Falls most of his life. These days, he hosts campers. He says once people discover the beauty of the St. Croix and its opportunities to boat, hike, and take in the natural beauty, they keep coming back. People come with their RVs, stay at my farm, spend the night. They just enjoy it. They enjoy the area. They love this area. Yeah, I don't know that the Park Service is going to have an RV, but the big truck or van that will become the Mobile Visitor Center will allow the Conservancy and its volunteers to go to the more than 60 landings that are in the park and 150 campsites to connect with the visitors. The hope is to have the Mobile Visitor Vehicle on the road sometime next summer. Sometimes all the popular spots get all the love and people, you know, forget to broaden their horizons and try something new. I'm surprised it's not more popular. I mean, like I'm stunned to hear that because it's gorgeous. I'm up there yeah. a lot and it's such a pretty area. And, and the visitor a lot of stuff center, to do. you've been there. Yeah. It's, it's a great center. So hopefully they'll be able to take some of the exhibits that are in that center now and then bring them out to the people at these different locations. I hope so. Or, or do I not? Maybe I don't want a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, don't blow up your spot, Frank. <laughs> Thanks, Derek.